given that the quartic equation az to the 4 plus bz to the 5 plus cz squared plus dz plus e is equal to 0 has roots alpha, beta, gamma and delta, find the sum and the product of the roots. So I'm afraid this is a little bit tedious, this video, but here, here we go. If alpha, beta, gamma and delta are roots of the quartic, a z to the four plus b z cubed plus c z squared plus d z plus e, and then that will be equivalent to doing a z minus alpha times z minus beta z minus gamma z minus delta. Now you guessed it. What we've got to do now is multiply these out. So basically, I'm going to multiply these two, and then multiply these two, and then multiply the results together. So in the first case going to do z times z minus beta minus alpha times z minus beta z times z minus delta gap minus gamma times z minus delta now be careful with signs leave the a until the end so we're going to get z squared minus beta z minus alpha z minus alpha plus sorry let's see minus minus plus alpha beta and then for the other bracket, we're going to get z squared minus delta z minus gamma z plus gamma delta. And then what we've got to do is z squared times this bracket minus beta z times the second bracket minus alpha z times the second bracket and then plus alpha beta times the second bracket. Again, being careful with the signs. We'll leave the A at the front. We're going to get Z to the fourth minus delta Z cubed minus gamma Z cubed plus gamma delta Z squared. Now we're going to multiply through by minuses. So be careful. Minus beta Z cubed plus beta delta Z squared plus beta gamma Z squared plus beta, gamma, delta, z. Then doing the other bracket, again, we're going through with a minus sign here. So minus alpha, z cubed, plus alpha, delta, z squared, plus alpha, gamma, z squared, minus alpha, gamma, delta, z. And then the next one's positive. So plus alpha, beta, z squared, minus alpha beta delta z minus alpha beta gamma z and then plus alpha beta gamma delta right writing that out again so let's just there we go we've got all that again right right gonna be a bit alpha z right so we've got alpha a z cubed plus b z cubed I was like, A Z to the four plus B Z cubed plus C Z uh, squared plus D Z plus E must be equivalent now to right going to be A Z to the fourth. That's quite straightforward. Right now the sum we're going to take all the ones I've now highlighted in yellow and I'm just going to write them in all order. So we've got A minus A. Alpha, beta, plus gamma, plus delta, z cubed. So what we're doing, we're equating the coefficients in a minute. And then we're going to take all the ones which have just got pairs in them. So these are all the ones that are highlighted. So that gives A, alpha, beta, plus alpha, gamma, plus alpha, delta, plus beta, ga uh, gamma, plus beta, delta, plus gamma, delta, z squared. And then we're going to take all the ones that got three coefficients in them, three root coefficients. Those are the ones in purple. So we've got, and the A at the front, alpha, beta, gamma, plus alpha, beta, delta, plus alpha, alpha, gamma, delta, plus beta, gamma, delta, z. And then finally, we've just got the product, all three uh, roots with A in it as well. So A, alpha, beta, gamma, delta. Right, equating uh, coefficients. Okay, so the sum, which is going to be this, is going to be uh, minus b over a, because this bit here has to be equal to b, and therefore the sum will be minus b over a, because there's a minus sign in front of there. 
This is called the sum of the individual roots. Right, sum of A, B, sum of the pairs of roots. Okay, it will be C over A because we're comparing Z to C here with all of these. So it'll be positive. And then this is called the sum of the product of the roots. And then what we will do in the, in the next page is compare these with D and then finally this with E. These are called the sum of the product of the roots in threes, which we use this notation for. And there they all are, and that will be equal to minus D over A, because it's minus this. And then this is the sum of the product of roots in threes. And then in the final case is the product of the roots. Okay, and that will be E over A. Okay, it's quite long-winded, um, but that's how it uh, works. Okay, so I hope you've understood, and I thank you very much for watching.